Good morning, everybody. Um, I am pleased to welcome uh, the Foreign Minister of Egypt, Nabil Fami, who is no stranger in Washington. He spent many years in the United States. Actually, he was born in New York. Uh, I think he spoke English before Arabic. Is that my name? And uh, he uh, and I have been in constant touch in recent months by telephone. So it's good to have a chance to catch up. We've seen each other at a couple of conferences, but today we obviously have very important uh, issues to discuss. Uh, Egypt, for a long time, has been a very important strategic partner of the United States. And we do share common interests, particularly the stability of the region, uh, counterterrorism, peace with Israel, and other concerns. Uh, Egypt is a very important country. It is one quarter of the Arab world. And historically, Egypt has always played a central role uh, in the region uh, and in our uh, efforts to maintain the, the uh, peace process as well as the stability of the region itself. Uh, clearly, Egypt has been going through a very difficult uh, transitional process. Uh, what happens in the next weeks and months is very, very important to all of us. We want the interim government to be successful. We are hopeful and, and look for uh, a political process of inclusivity, a constitution uh, impl implemented. Uh, which brings people politically to the table and broadens the democratic base of Egypt. Uh, Egypt's constitution is a positive step forward. It has taken steps, and they are moving now to an election. But even as these positive steps have been taken, um, we all know there have been uh, disturbing decisions within the judicial process, uh, the court system, uh, that have raised serious challenges for all of us. Uh, we will discuss these issues today very candidly, forthrightly. And we do so in a spirit that wants to find a way uh, for Egypt to be able to make it through this transition and share a full democracy with its people uh, and be able to uh, uh, take the steps that create the stability and strength that is necessary from a country like Egypt where everybody uh, looks uh, to uh, the potential of Egypt's uh, re-emergence on the global stage as a major partner in our strategic concerns. So we are hopeful for that. We look to work very closely in that effort. But as I've mentioned to the Foreign Minister a number of times, uh, we really are looking for uh, certain things to happen that will uh, give people the sense of confidence uh, about this road ahead. Uh, it's actions, not words, that will make the difference. And that's really the discussion that we look forward to having this morning. So, Mr. Foreign Minister, I really welcome you here. Thank you. You've given us a lot of, uh, a lot of insight as to what is happening. I know you yourself are pushing for, for many of these things, and we look forward to a good discussion. Thank you, John. Thank you very much uh, for inviting me back to Washington. Um, ben, it's, uh, uh, the State Department has been a frequent uh, visit uh, for me in the past. My previous capacity in this venue, in particular this hall, was a, an, a, an event, an area for uh, many events that I attended. But the American-Egyptian relationship is something that's extremely important to me personally and to uh, Egypt uh, as well as a, as a nation. All of these strategic elements that the Secretary mentioned regarding our common goals, uh, I don't want to repeat because uh, I completely agree with him on those issues. What's different my, in my visit this time than my previous capacity is that I come now representing the people that want democracy, that want to be stakeholders in the future, that want to build a better country that are going through a transformation uh, that is societal, not simply changing one president for the other. Uh, I believe we are moving forward. Uh, again, as the Secretary said, the Constitution in particular 
was a very constructive step. We're going forward with the elections for president in a, in a few weeks, and then hopefully soon after that for parliament. Uh, as we do that, we need to deal with the challenges that we face without disturbing the institutional uh, relationships. Uh, the Secretary mentioned some of the challenges within the judicial system. They are completely independent from the government, but of course they're part of what Egypt is all about. Uh, I can't comment on the content of the, of the uh, decisions themselves, but I'm confident that due process is allowed, uh, that due process is allowed, and that the legal system will ultimately end up with the proper decisions in, in each of these cases. And uh, we will build a democracy based on the rule of law. And the rule of law means uh, applying laws that are consistent with the Constitution through a legal system that's independent and credible to us all, most of all, to the Egyptian people. And that's a commitment that I make, not to you here in Washington, but to my own people. So I'm, I'm glad to say it here as well at the same time. We're going to have an interesting discussion on a number of the regional issues, on our bilaterals, and of course I'll be happy to explain what's happening in Egypt domestically as well. Thank you, John, for having me here. Thank you, David. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks.